<laughs> tire inflators, tire inflators, where might they be? <sighs> La 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 la. 12 gauge. 12 gauge. 120 volt. Good morning. Dollars. Let's check it out. Whoopsies, we're not 12 volt. I need 12 volt. Okay, here is one. A little more than what I wanted to spend. Okay, here's a better, another one. Hmm. Take a look at this one. This one does not have a light. I want the light on it. It is $54.99. This one is $69.99 and it has the light on it. Let's see. I also want the gauge built onto it, not a separate piece. Okay, I'll keep looking. Let's see what this one's like. Nope, this one won't do either. Two things. Digital. You can't keep it in a vehicle. I have been hunting and hunting and hunting for a decent tire inflator that I can inflate my motorhome tires with. I wanted something that had some decent PSI to it, a decent PSI value to it. So I ordered one. I, I managed to have lost the last one I bought. I had no idea where it is. Of course, it could be in the van, it could be in the car, it could be in the motorhome, or it could be hidden in the Silver Streak. I've been looking, but I haven't recovered it yet. Now that I bought this tire inflator, I will probably find it. However, this one is a much better Looking product. at different types, and I wanted something that was analog, not digital. The reason for that is because digital in a hot, hot car, if you're storing it in a hot vehicle, it will kill the LED panel. That's what happened to a previous one I had. It had an LED panel on it. I did not consider that when I kept it in the van. When I got it out to check the tires and give them a little air, it was gone. It was done. So keep that in mind. Electronics and uh, hot vehicles <laughs> don't really like each other that much. So let's go ahead and open these. Okay, in here is an adapter. Which means I can screw this end on to the inflator and do a quick release. That's nice. That's nice and sturdy. It's metal. Actually, that's very tight. But that's metal. It has a plastic rubber insert, of course. And it's corded rather than rubber. So that's a pretty decent thing. I think it was like eight bucks on Amazon. Not bad. A vehicle tire inflating pump. Unfortunately, it is from China. Uh, I searched and I searched and I searched. I wanted to keep it within a reasonable cost. This was um, about $60. Of course, on the site it said it was for RVs. However, my RV is actually a Class C, which is still basically a van. 
So if it's a small truck, motorcycle, van, SUV, car, or whatever. Oh, ball. <laughs> I thought that was an R. Okay. Maximum pressure, 150 PSI. No daily maintenance. Fast inflate. Oilless design. Noise less than 95 decibels. Working temperature, 20 to minus 20 degrees to 80 degrees Celsius. Whatever that is. Inside the box. A battery adapter for 12 volt, so you can clamp these directly to the battery, which is generally preferred. A little cheapy looking though, but still. The coil, which I need to be able to re reach motorhome tires. Okay, let's dump this out. G Gypsum, I guess Gypsum. G-S-P-S-C-N. Maybe it'll be better than my bag on my Bonaire because the bag kind of fell apart. Actually, the bag didn't fall apart. The zippers broke. Look at that. What is that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's not good. Now, the zippers may not last on this one very long either, but you put the coil part in here and the inflator into this section and here is the tire inflator itself oh and the little um adapters oh there's a nice fuse in there too it has a plastic carrying handle it's supposed to be metal i think it is metal casing what I wanted was that analog meter. It's a little beefy, I will say that. Of course, this attaches to this part here, and then this goes onto your tire, which I will be using this part for because I wanted the quick connect. That way you're not losing air on your tires when you're trying to release it from the tire. So that's kind of a nice feature. It's a really nice little quick connect. Looks like there might have been a label on there at one time. I don't know. <laughs> and I also wanted one with the light on front. If you have any kind of tire issues at night, it would be nice to be able to plug this in and uh, be able to see without having to run and, and get a flashlight also, or you may be using a flashlight for other things concerning the tire. Nice long cord. And of course, what I like is you can, you know, always replace the fuses in these things when they go out. So we will test this later. I will have to dig up my little converter thing, inverter, converter, whatever it's called to attach to this and uh, the Silver Streak has a totally flat tire. So we'll s gonna test that on that tire and see um, how long it takes to fill it up. You don't run these any more than 20 minutes or they um, get overheated and then it can damage them. So we'll play with this, see what we get out of it. Right here's some more information. Voltage, 12 volt. Amperage, 25 amps. Maximum pressure, 150 psi. The beware of high temperature under operating. And then, of course, there's the inspection sticker. And it has little rubber feet on it, little metal casing around the bottom. So, we'll give this a try. That's plastic. <laughs> Uh, and here is the paper yeah. that came along with it. After sale service, important notice and warning, and you are to run your engine if you're plugged into your cigarette lighter or you're using your battery to, you know, not to damage anything.
And then here is the instruction manual, pretty basic. The features, if you want to pause and read this, you can. Cautions. I'm getting some glare on the paper from the light. There we go. So if you want to pause and read that, you can. And then uh, main purpose and application. Ready to give this a try. It's finally cooled down. It's later in the evening now. So I have a little 12 volt converter set up inside the RV that I'm going to plug this into because normally you would just plug this into your car cigarette lighter but this is a travel trailer. Nice long cord, that's gracious. Okay, I have that plugged in. Um, let me get that little coil thing out. Don't need the battery part. Got my quick connect on it already. Let's tear this stuff off. I'll just pull it out of it. Now it's better to turn it on first. Is the oh, that's funny. You can hear the air coming out of it. <laughs> Get this down the ground. Okay, I took the quick connect off. I can't get it to connect properly, so I just uh, screwed that on there. We'll go ahead and turn this on and see how quickly it fills up right now. It is right there, almost zero. And this tire takes 80 pounds of air. I don't know if it would be faster running off of a battery or not. I'm actually running it off of electrical power with the use of a little 12 volt. It may take a little while. This uh, tire takes 80 psi. If you run it any longer than 20 minutes, then you have to give the uh, inflator a break. You can see the tires filling up, which is good. It's a shame they bent that rim. My spare tire to this has the rim on it also. So I'll have to take it off, get this to a tire shop and have them mount, because these are new tires, have them mount this tire onto the other rim. And then uh, one of my friends said that places can straighten this rim back out. But yeah, it's not good. Yeah. Don't go to Walmart for these things. That's who messed it up. If I'm not mistaken, I think the motorhome tires um, might take around 80 PSI also. I'm not positive, but I bought this at 150 PSI just to make sure it was strong enough to keep up with uh, different tire pressures and it has a stronger rate at it. Making a little bit of a whiny noise. See if it's hot. That's hot. That's really hot. Unit itself is okay. And there's a switch on either side of this. This switch over here would be for the power, and this switch over here is for the light. I don't need the light right now, so why stress it out with extra power? When I'm done, I'll show you the light. Okay, we're almost at 60. It's just been a few minutes. 
I don't want to keep this tire flat until I can get it um, remounted because I don't know if it'll mess up the treads and stuff if it gives totally flat the steel belting and stuff. We're passing 70. It's a slow racehorse. Mm -hmm. Okay, that didn't take long at all. We're at 78, so I'm going to cut it off. There we go. Awesome. And then uh, here's the light if you want to see the light. I still don't know what that gunk is on there. Oops, the wrong way. There we go. So, pretty cool little gizmo. I like uh, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, about 60 bucks. Okay, let's unhook it. And too bad the quick connect didn't work the way I thought it would. Eh, that's not harmless. <laughs> I mean, that's harmless. That's not harmless. So that wraps up my review for the GSP CN air compressor, little tire inflator. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, tires are rather <laughs> one of the most important things on a vehicle, RV, travel trailer, anything that has tires, they're important. So this is a part of uh, tire maintenance. So I will catch you all later and live the life you love. Bye.